wrong with you? I love math. Angie! Alright, Angie. <laughs> x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 6. Angie, what's the first thing you did over here? Yes, we are subtracting 6 to set it equal to 0. Angie, what do you get underneath this purple? Oh, down here, what do you write? Oh, x2. x2. Plus x. Plus, plus, plus 5x. Plus 5x. What does this equal, Angie? Zero. Oh, this canceling here equals zero. Oh. And over here, Angie? Zero. Oh, that one equals zero, too. Oh. Oh. Amy, if we use the x in the box, what's a times c? A times c is zero. Correct. B value. Five. Okay, it's kind of weird. Two numbers that multiply to be zero, but those same two numbers add to be five. Five and zero. Five and zero. Amy, what do I write in here that I kind of missed? There is the x plus 0. Raise your hand if you got that so far. Oh. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, Diana, what do I do next? You just do that in green. Let's set it equal to zero. Tell me what to write. And? Okay. What do you do over there? And x is equal to? And over here? Yeah, you sub it's kind of weird, right? Zero is not positive nor negative. But if you're kind of following along, you're like, what? Zero minus zero? It's just zero. Our two answers for the problem are x equals negative five and x equals zero. Raise your hand if you got that. Okay, I want to show you guys. Now, I did, hopefully that was something helpful for you. I put in that plus zero. Does that make sense? Let me show you guys another way, and you might actually see it. It's a little bit faster. Okay, so two ways to solve the problem. If I were doing this, I would have had x squared plus 5x um, equals 0. Do you guys remember that part? And then Angela actually did something over here that I can actually use. What did she do over here? She did the greatest common factor. Look at this. x times x plus 5 equals 0. What was my hint to you guys? Look, x plus 0. Do you see it? I didn't even have to use the Xbox. So, two different ways, and then you could just set them equal to zero and then solve, right? Two different ways to do Dwight's. All right, what was Howard's mistake? Well, everything... His mistake is... He didn't set it equal to zero. You see, if he subtracted six, subtract six, then he would set it equal to zero. Because even look right here. Class, is that set equal to zero? No. So in some ways, practically, in today's lesson, all you had to learn is to do what? Set it equal to zero. You actually do it twice. You do it in the very beginning. And you kind of do it towards the end. You see it? I love man. You don't love man. What's wrong with you? I love man.